now uh, moving ahead uh, we must know what is a constant sum game so as we discussed in the case of zero sum games the total gains made uh, plus the total loss made in the entire game by uh, including all the players equals to zero uh, in case of constant sum games uh, the number isn't equals to zero but equals to some constant c so in case of uh, constant sum games all the losses plus all the gains uh, equals to some constant c and not zero uh, uh, if you think about it, even a zero sum game is a special case of constant sum game where C equals to zero. Uh, so, uh, giving an example, assume that we have a game of lottery where 50 folks buy out a ticket and only one of them wins. So eventually, even if player one wins or player two wins or player uh, three wins or player fourth wins, uh, eventually we know that the total gain would be uh, 10,000 bucks. That is a uh, winning prize and the rest of the 49 players don't get anything. So the total gains plus total loss equals to 1 into 10,000 plus 49 into 0 because 49 players are not getting anything. Eventually, uh, the total summation of gains plus losses equals to 10,000, which is not equal to 0, but always equal to a scene in each and every case, whomever player wins it out. 